Hi, my name is Tina Ketto. I am a Homeworks by Precept consultant and a homeschool mom. And today I'm going to talk to you about distance learning video lesson guides, also referred to as the VLG. A VLG or video lesson guide looks something like this. This is spelling uh, for second grade, and these are super useful. I use them every day. Um, my kids can refer to them, and I also use them for my main lesson plans. So when you get your video lesson guide, the best thing you can do for each and every class, because each class might be a little bit different, is uh, to read the parent and facilitator instructions on the first page. They're gonna, it's going to give you information about um, what's inside here and the things that might be your responsibility as the parent. Uh, you also want to turn to this front page where it starts with day one on the video lesson guide, and you're going to want to read this information up here at the top. It's very important because um, it will give you any acronyms that might be used uh, in this video lesson guide for this class uh, throughout the VLG and um, it'll help you to know exactly what it means. For spelling two here I have a WT which uh, means work text and so it tells me here uh, that the WT is the work text. It also has a note that says that all the tests are administered by the teacher during the videos and are not assigned. So that's telling me that my second grader, I don't have to administer the tests. The tests actually are going to be administered by Mrs. Walker, the distance learning teacher, um, on the videos. And Which, by the way, she does a fantastic job of uh, doing this. My uh, youngest is in second grade this year, and he absolutely loves Mrs. Walker, and uh, she's very, very good at how she um, administers those tests without making it stressful for um, second graders and kind of teaching them how to take tests and uh, trying to alleviate the, their, alleviate their anxiety. And uh, we've been really happy with that uh, distance learning class. Um, some other things to note is that the VLG is uh, generally, it's going to be somewhere between 165 and 180 days of um, lessons. So if you need to hit a 180 day um, requirement by with your umbrella school or with your state laws, uh, the video lesson guide is going to give you um, everything that you can do to be able to reach that um, that quota. If you do not have that, you can go through and adjust and modify as you need to for um, for your umbrella school, for your um, for your own family. And uh, one of the things that I really like is if you look here, it's going to give me everything that I need to know. Uh, right up here, I've got my day. So this says I am that this is day 26. It's going to tell me what video. If I'm doing distance learning online, the video will simply be there for me. Um, as we check off the boxes, it will just move me um, and my students from day to day. Um, this is the content. This tells what's going to be happening that day. These are any materials that are going to be needed. Uh, this one, it's a spell it handout, and that is going to be in the student handouts packet, and I will be doing a video about the student hand student handout packet. So go ahead and look for that on the homework site and you can get more information about uh, how the student handout packet will help you. Um, on some of the uh, some of the previous years of video recording, uh, BJU Press also called these um, student work sheets and so that's another name they might go by. Um, if you hear the term uh, mom's minutes packets, those will also mean if it's essential, it's going to be in the um, student handouts. So anything that you really def that you're definitely going to need for the course that's not considered optional or supplemental will be in the student handouts packet, regardless of what uh, is stated on the video. And so if we keep looking here, on the, this tells what text we're going to be doing. Uh, that's work text page 22. Uh, the assignment is going to be to finish work text page 22 because Mrs. Walker starts that assignment on the video with the kids. And then it says to choose two bonus words to add to list six. And then here's facilitator instructions. So this tells me 
everything I need before I start the vid start videos. And this also tells me what I need to do um, to make sure that everything that was assigned for the day has been checked. So here it says to check the list six pretest, to check work text page 22, and to assist as needed in choosing two bonus words for list six. So that gives me everything that I need. Um, now, if you come across an asterisk, um, for example, in math two, there's something here uh, for day 81. If I look here, I've got day 81, which is video 74. Um, so these two might not match up. The videos and the days are not always going to be exactly the same. When there is a difference, when these two numbers are not the same, this number, uh, this video number is actually referring to the lesson that will line up with your teacher's editions, and that lesson will also line up with the lesson numbers that are stated at the bottom of the work text pages. Um, so don't, no need to be confused by that. So this one right here, I see an asterisk. This tells me that I need a hundreds chart handout from day 79. That's gonna be in my student handouts. Uh, price tag handout, that one has an asterisk. That means it will not be in my student handout guide. And it also means that I don't have to do it. It is something supplemental, it is extra. Um, I can decide to do that later if my child's not understanding the concept. I can just completely uh, forego that. So I really appreciate all of the supplemental materials that BGU Press gives us because what is essential for one kid is might be optional for another. So um, it's a blessing to have all that additional material. Uh, this says here that I'm gonna do a fact review handout, uh, fact review 27, that one, because it does not have an asterisk, will also be in the student handouts packet. Here is an asterisk one. It says, read teaching 37 handout. And you think, oh my goodness, that is a whole lot of information. And here I have a MR, which means math reviews, and that one has an asterisk. So what do I do with all this information? Well, it's really simple. Um, the things that have an asterisk are optional, and if you choose to use those, you will need to go into your um, parent account. If you're using distance learning online, you'll want to log into BJU Press online.com, um, put in your parent login and sign in and select your student, select the subject, move over to parent resources, and there are files there. And under those files, you will find um, optional materials. And that is where you can select and pull those up and maybe just go over them with your kids uh, directly on the computer or you can print them up and have them write them out. Uh, the few times that we have used the reteach for the math, they're really handy because it's the exact same lesson. I mean, if your kid does the video lesson and they do their work text and you see that they are not understanding the lesson at all, instead of going after correcting that material and going over it with your child, you can go ahead and reteach the lesson with the reteach handouts. And it's the same uh, concepts, but it's going to be all new problems. Um, and so you can go ahead and use those as needed. Um, I've used one or two of them in the last seven years with my kids. So I do not print out optional materials um, unless we run into some problems or um, if we find, you know, a fun game that's optional or a fun activity that I know my kids are going to want to do. Uh, it's something that we would go ahead and use, but I do not print up those extra materials. It is a lot of paper and um, I just want to be able to print them up and use them or even just access them and go over them, you know, verbally with my kids um, through the online portal. If you use DVDs, uh, you will not have the that will not be the address that you'd be using to log in. If you are a DVD user, then you'll be going to bjupresshomeschool.com and logging into your account and scrolling down. And that would give you, they have extra materials there. And that's where you would find those extra things that are asterisked on your um, VLG. And uh, we do have a video on how to use the um, bjupresshomeschool.com account. And I will link that below for you so that um, if that's something that you need to look into in your DVD user, you will probably, you'll find that very helpful. Um, another thing that I want to share with you is, um, is that there are also PDF versions. 
there. Um, so you have your hard copies that you get in the mail when you order your stuff. You will also, um, in your student handouts packet, comes shrink wrapped like this, put it in a three ring binder. The student handouts packet will also have a uh, loose leaf video lesson guide VLGs just like you have so that your um, child can mark off things, look ahead, plan out their day, um, refer back to it if they would need it. Uh, you will also find a copy of the VLG in your purple packet. If you're a DVD user, you will be um, getting a parent packet, which is purple, and it looks uh, like this. It comes shrink wrapped. This one I've already put into a three ring binder that I picked up from the thrift store. And um, I just popped that right in there, and that also has my VLG. So there are many different ways, um, many different places to find it. However, if you do wish to um, have to print up a VLG or to have the digital copy on your tablet, uh, go ahead and log into either uh, the, your online account or the DVD users onto your BGU Press Homeschool account. And um, under those resources, you can find the VLG. And that you can print it up again if you would like. You can just have that file handy uh, for reference. Whatever works for you in your homeschool. Um, all the resources are there. You just get to use what you need. And um, I hope you found that video helpful. And uh, if you have, again, my name is Tina Keto. And if you have uh, would like to contact me, my information is below. I'm happy to help. Uh